hi guys welcome to my channel um so it's in, it's very inter interesting um i think last week <laughs> last week or the week before thursday um i was in the middle of like just teaching you guys about obedience and disobedience and it just kind of cut clip on me so i'm just like oh my gosh <laughs> and i wasn't able to go um and continue the, the lesson because of course i was doing um recording and when you record normally you will have to like literally start all over again so i wasn't able to go back and like kind of record over and i'm like okay i'm gonna get to it and i miss you guys on sunday i'm gonna get to it and i miss you guys on again this week thursday so however things work god is always in control but as always, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for each time that you have taken out of your busy schedule and you have shared our videos and you have um, let someone know word of mouth always help. Um, I thank God and I bless God for you and for your obedience and for just always um, being a blessing to our um, channel or, or however it may. But I do want to continue with this. So <laughs> prayfully that in Jesus name that I can finish this. Um, where I left off was um, on disobedient, and I've, of course, I've read, um, I've read a uh, second chronic, a uh, second Corinthians chapter ten, verse three to six, where it said, "We are human, but we don't we don't wage war using as human beings should, or with human weapons, but instead we use God mighty weapons." not worldly weapons to knock down the stronghold of human reasoning and to destroy many proud obstacles that keep people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. And after you have become fully obedient, we punished everyone who remain disobedient. And of course, I also left up where how Moses, Moses wasn't able to see the promised land because God told him to just hit the rock to just strike it one time but because he was mad instead of tapping the rock he ended up punching <laughs> the rock and that's what's stopping him from seeing the promised land so the can disobedient cost you yes it can can obedient reward you yes it can through your obedient god will show up mightily through your disobedient it will cause you to go set back it will cause you to go set back Instead of you taking one, two step, you end up taking five to 10 step back. So in your obedient, you end up leaping into your promised land instead of going um, backward where you end up taking 10 step back and you literally have to keep trying to move on forward again. But with God, God doesn't want you to live that kind of lifestyle. God wants you to live the lifestyle where, um, God wants you to live the lifestyle where you are moving forward in him and not backwards so what have we let people what have what have you let people do or what have you listened to that have caused you to draw back from god and the book of jonah chapter 1 verse 1 through 10 i will not read the whole thing but i'll read that one particular verse where it said god wanted to send jonah to nineveh god said go to nineveh tell the people stop sinning turn from their wicked ways because i want to break forth i want to make a change in them but no jonah was like no they're too bad i don't want to go and help them out no they've been too ratchet like they slap people with fish they're rude to their neighbors they're still they smacking one another i don't want to do that so what did he do he ran away to Tashis. So there, God had to wheel him back in by making a big fist swallow him and spit him back out. Whether the fist spit him out to Nineveh, where God sent him. So will God reroute you from disobedience? He can. Does God wish and pray, pray above all things that none should perish, none should be lost, but make it to heaven and none should um, miss out on eternal life? Yes, that is definitely in your Bible. That's what God desires, that everyone make it to heaven. No one go to hell. So if you think that, well, I want to go to hell. Well, my actions causing me to go to hell. God saying, stop. Yes, you have disobeyed, but I want to forgive you. Repent now from your wicked ways. Make it right with me. That's what God is saying. So yourself will, your flesh always, your flesh and your and your spirit, man, they're always going out war with each other. You know what you should do right. Your spirit, man, know what they should do right. But the flesh is at war. You know you shouldn't be going to that place, but then your flesh is at war. You know you shouldn't be talking like that. You shouldn't be cursing 
but you are a great war all the time so that's why every day you gotta wake up you gotta pray every day you gotta wake up you gotta kill the flesh because the flesh is a mess <laughs> i'm sure you heard that it is a mess so it's not only people that come to 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 destroy you and cause disobedience it's you yourself our biggest enemy is ourself when you want to look for an enemy or you want to look for a hater look in the mirror it's you <laughs> i'm my own self issue i'm my own self biggest setback it's you so look in the mirror first in james chapter 4 verse 17 if anyone then knows the good they are to do they should do it did you know that to know to do right and to not do it is a sin? Here it is. It's tell you that in James. In the book of James chapter, chapter 4 verse 17. If you are to know to do right and you still choose to do wrong. If you are to know to do right but you're still not doing it. God look at it as a sin. So today if you know what you should be doing right. Making it right with God. Repent from your wicked ways. Lord it is against you have sinned. Lord forgive me for my sin. God renew that spirit back within me um build that relationship back within with with me and you holy spirit break up every stronghold come into my heart lord jesus again i've accept you one time two time i've accept you as my lord and savior take your rightful place within my heart i pray that this will be a blessing to you today i know i'm with you guys briefly <laughs> i do apologize for that but i pray that it will be a blessing to you and as always thank you so much for each time you have shared the video and um like our pages and share it on your own instagram to youtube tiktok pages we thank you and we pray and we pray and bless god for you so heavenly father i pray that whoever get a chance to watch this video on this channel this morning that it will be a blessing to them holy spirit cause them to break off i even speak now that every spirit of disobedient and that has been uh, entered our life that it is it's exit now father i decree and declare obedient over their life i pray that holy spirit as they repent as they turn from their wicked ways, that you will come into their heart. And Lord Jesus, you will be their Lord and Savior and direct and instruct them back into the right path. In Jesus' name. Until next time, thank you always. Love you guys. Bye.